What's up everyone? Welcome back to Wednesday Devotional. We're going to continue our devotion titled Facing the Giant of Fear. Today is day 13. Let's get into it. The title of today's Devo is All Through the Night. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night. Exodus chapter 14 verse 21. The miracle of rolling back the Red Sea happened all that night. The morning simply revealed what God had done the night before while the Israelites were sleeping. Good news, God works the night shift. Even though you feel lost and alone, he is still on the job, working all things after the counsel of his own will. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11. Have you heard of songs in the night? Here's one of them. When darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. On Christ's solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. My hope is built on nothing less. By Edward Moat. You may not be able to see him today, but his eyes are still on you. If you're a student at school, a young couple hard-pressed financially, divorced and struggling to get back on your feet, a servant of God laboring in difficult circumstances, or just lonely and in need of companionship, here are some words to help you get through till the morning. A. I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteousness forsaken, have you? Nor his seed begging bread. Psalms chapter 37 verse 25. B. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalms 30 chapter 5. C. In all these things, whatever you're facing, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Romans chapter 8 verse 37. Be encouraged, God's working in the dark. Prayer point. Lord, thank you that you always are at work in my life and circumstances, even when I can't see it. I love the times when I can see your gracious smile and feel your presence, but help me to trust you in the night as well, knowing you are faithful and working all things together for good in my life. The basis of this Devo, guys, was just really the, the how God works nonstop. He's always working for us. There's never a moment throughout our day or the day or night where God is not working for our good and for our benefit and, and to get us through whatever it is that we're uh, going through. All right, guys, so we're going to break down the scripture using our SEEK method, which SEEK stands for Scripture, Examine, Exercise, and Carrero. Our first letter of SEEK, S, here's our first scripture. Exodus chapter 14, verse 21. Then Moses raised his hand over the sea, and the Lord opened up the path through the water with a strong east wind. The wind blew all that night, turning the seabed into dry land. The first E in seek, the examine part, when we examine that, what was God doing? He was working for Moses. Like Mo The Israelites were facing a hard circumstance. They were at the Red Sea. They had Egyptians hot on their tail coming to try and take them back to Egypt. And God working through the night, he opens the Red Sea for Moses and his people, and they, they walk across the sea, which is pretty cool. The second E in seek, which is exercise, how do we exercise that? How do we exercise that scripture, which basically is just showing us how God works for us. When we face hard circumstances, hard times, God's there. He's there to help us get through it. And uh, how do you exercise that? Trust, trusting in God, having that faith, believing that God is who he says he is, and he's going to get you through the hard circumstance or the situation that you're in. The last letter of seek, the K, Carrero, which is having a conversation with somebody, talking to God. I'm just going to pray for us real quick. So I just thank you, Lord, that you work day and night for us, that you never stop working, that you're always there with us through all hours of the day and night. And no matter what, you're working for our good and for our benefit. I just ask you to be with anybody that's dealing with any type of circumstance or situation, Lord. They maybe feel like you're not there. Let them feel your presence right now, God. I love you and I thank you for this day, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Have a great day.